Okay, in this tutorial, we'll continue working with the rigid body dynamics in uh, version 2.66. And what we'll work on is uh, constraints today. And we're just going to kind of wing this as we go. And I'm basing this on what I know in, from the uh, game engine and see if I can just do something similar. So I'm just going to put this small little cube in here like this. I'm going to hang something from that here in a second. All right. And then. Uh, let's see, since this is hanging straight below it, let's just put a sphere down here underneath it. And I'll move that down a little bit here. I'm going to scale it, but I'm going to go into edit mode to scale it. S, like this. All right. So that is labeled sphere and that is labeled cube. So we're going to bring up the toolbar. And I'll make this, I don't want this one to go anywhere for starters. So I'll make that passive make this active for the rigid body tools over in here and then I come over here to this button here and I'm going to link this to this with a rigid body constraint is simply by picking this cube here and down here I'll pick this sphere whoops nope I want it right there the sphere like that all right so that's hinged to that, so this should flow freely. Well, that is if, of course, it's fixed right now. It's not going to do anything, in, but we'll make it a point. This would be equivalent to, like, a ball hinge, I believe, in the game engine. I mean, logically, that would make sense to me. So let's just, uh, okay, wait, hang on. Before we do anything, let's give it a color. Okay, there's a color. I'll give this a, some kind of control color so I can see it. Up in here, well, I'll give it a new color, maybe make it green just so I can see it easier. Okay, like that. And that, let's run it and see what happens. So Alt-A. So nothing happens. Well, let me see if we move it along. Well, there we go. So I'm moving it on the one axis, and you can see it's bouncing around like this. All right, so it's a hinge, just, as, just how you would expect to work. But now it should be able to move in. Let's move it in uh, G. I'll press G-Shift-Z, so I'm moving it on X and Y. And let's see. Nope, so it works pretty well. So that's a pretty good test for stars. All right, well, so now we're here. Let's stop that. And let's put in, uh, hey, they should be, let's control Z that back to the center like that and get a copy of this. And then shift D, Y. I'll make a couple copies, shift D, Y, like this. They're not quite evenly spaced, but I want to see if we can actually do this here. So I should theoretically be able to rotate this. Can I rotate this out of the way? Maybe so. Let's see, R, X, let's see. No, that won't rotate like that. So, well, if I fixed it for a second, maybe it would. Let's see, I'm, ex I'm just experimenting here. Let's see, let me see, I'll make it fixed just for a moment. Let's see if I can rotate it RX real quick. Nope, that's not gonna do it there. So go back to the point like this. I'm just going to have to get it swinging some other way. Let me just see if they'll all work with each other. All right, so Alt A, they should all have hinges. Let me see, I'll just move this sideways and I'll move it back. Uh-huh. And there you go. So they seem to work. Let's try that again. Give it a little more action. Yep, so they seem to work just fine. And then, of course, you could put, you know, might as well add, you know, another particle to run into it. Remember, like before, we could just add a particle over here. Let's shift A, add a cube into the scene. Scale this way down. I won't care about that here. Where is it? Is it lined up with it kind of like? Yeah, it's kind of lined up with it like that. All right, but remember, so in this case, what we'll do is we'll make this also a rigid body, but I'm going to come here and make this, click that animated button, right, so I can move it along in the scene. I should be able to bounce that along like this. Yeah, I can. Okay. So pretty straightforward, about as I would expect from within the game engine. Both are pretty easy to do. Of course, there's a lot more to that when you start designing something in particular, you know, besides just hitting things randomly. But 
it's a good start. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.